Hey guys, it's Zakata. I'm taking you on a bit of a different adventure today. We won't be bushwalking. Could you guess what we might be doing? I'll give you a clue. And I'm gonna get sorted and I'll see you out there. at the mouth of this river and the mouth of this river is in the farmlands so it's quite flat there but this river comes out of the valley so the further we go up this river the deeper we'll get into the mountains which is really cool so we'll see what we find along the way Part of the river is still bordered by people's properties, so farms back onto this river. So we see a lot of water pumps and infrastructure like rock walls, like this, which obviously isn't natural. <laughs> but the further we get up, the more wild it becomes. I'm looking forward to getting up there. The river flows out of the valley, which means right now we're going upstream against the current, but it's not too strong, so it's okay for now. That there is a white-bellied sea eagle's nest. It's more like a bird hotel. I know this because I've seen him or her flying around here quite a bit over the years. And I know she lives up in that nest and that's where she has her babies from. There's a lot of trees and destruction along the banks of the river. Most of these came down in the 2020 floods that happened about this time two years ago. And the river probably got, I think it was about 12 metres high. So all of this would have been underwater. Starting to get into the mountains now. We're seeing the, the banks of the river get, get a lot higher. Starting to see heaps of rocks and cliffs. You can hear a dollar bird in the tree. There he is. I'm about halfway up the river and not quite in the in the mountains yet but I just wanted to stop and show you this example of what happens when it floods so when it floods the water comes up really high and it and it runs like it flows really fast and it washes all the the dirt and the, the banks away from the trees see how you've got this this bit of a landslip here from where the waters just wash the dirt away and it exposes the roots of the trees so there's nothing holding the tree into the ground because all of its roots are exposed so then it doesn't take much for the trees to fall over and that's why we see all of this destruction that goes all the way down the river and you can you can usually tell by the by the destruction how high the water level got to you can't really tell here because it's all started to grow back but we might find a better example further up
things now. I'm giving my arms a break and walking instead. <laughs> on the bank here on the sand for a bit of a rest because the water's moving pretty quick where we are here. And if you stop paddling for a second it starts to drag you back downstream and I would end up back where I started. I don't want that yet. It'll be good later when we do go back. Don't have to paddle so much but right now it's really hard going. We're pretty much in the mountains now, or well, we are in the mountains now. It's really beautiful. The black cockatoos are out. There's a nice stump here with lamandra growing in it. It's really beautiful. just pulled my kayak up to the sand because there's no way I can kayak past this point because the water is just way too flowy <laughs> but we're well and truly in the valley now um, I'm gonna pull my gear up into the shade and I'm gonna go the rest of the way on foot go for a bit of a swim because it's really hot I've just put my sunscreen on see what we can find This is about as far as I'm going to go. <laughs> Walked about a hundred meters up from where we left the kayak. It's a beautiful spot here. This valley is called the Gross Valley. Not gross as in disgusting, because <laughs> it's not. It's gross as in G-R-O-S-E. Um, and the river that runs through it that we've just paddled up, or this river here, is called the Gross River. So this river starts in Mount Victoria, which is at the top of the Blue Mountains, not here, <laughs> well, like way up the mountain, and it flows out to the Hawkesbury and Nepean, um, where it meets up with that river and then flows out to sea. So we put the kayak in at the mouth of the Gross River and we've paddled up to here. So this part here isn't the top, we're not at Mount Victoria, not quite that far. <laughs> um, this part here, is a junction of um, the river that meets with Cabbage Tree Creek. Um, it's a really beautiful little spot. This, this mountain here, this peak, is called Patterson Hill. We might do another video soon where we go to the top of this peak. Up the top here, this is called Cabbage Tree, or Cabbage Tree Lookout. And you can actually get there by car. <laughs> A lot easier than kayaking. And on this side, up there somewhere, is Gross Head South, 
which is another major peak, one of the highest points of this part of the valley. Um, and you can see that peak from, from where we started. So I'll have to get a video of that on the way back. So we've just stopped here by these little rapids. Might go for a swim, have a bit of a rest, and then head back. It took me three and a half hours to get to this point, and that was paddling upstream, which is a lot harder. So getting back will be much quicker and might be able to relax a little bit. Hi Grace Valley. Okay, so three and a half hours here. That's time how long it takes to get back. And we're off. Already don't have to paddle because it's flowing real nice. It's a valley in the background, nice breeze. I think this is gonna be a relaxing trip back. I hope. This is a good example of debris stuck in the tree. So the water, when it flooded, would have at least been up to that point up there. It's pretty high.
Can you hear the cicadas? <laughs> Only a couple hundred meters to go. I think we're making pretty good time. I haven't checked the time. Got the sun setting behind me. My paddle's pretty beat. <laughs> Lots of adventures, that's what that is. <laughs> Just made it back to the mouth of the ghost. This is the Hawkesbury Nepean running that way. <laughs> so it took two and a half hours to get back, which was an hour less than the way up. And much easier. <laughs> See how it's heaps wider down here because we're out of the valley. It's super wide and there's no big cliffs around here. It's really flat. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for coming. I gotta go get this kayak on the roof of my car now. <laughs> Wish me luck and I'll see you on the next one. One more thing. This is the valley that we just came out of. Hang on a second. Yeah, that's the valley there. That's Grace Head South on the left. This real fire point. And cabbage tree on the right. And then we were straight down the middle of that. Awesome, see you soon.